it's sort of hard to kind of analyse from a football perspective. Um, yeah, kind of left with the result, which is obviously disappointing. And you know, that's you, know, you don't like to lose, particularly here at home. You know, super proud of the players' efforts and will and desire and determination to get still get something out of the game. Um, and like I said, and then there's obviously the you know, the fallout from it from from our perspective, personnel-wise, which you know, I guess we'll we'll deal with in the coming days. <clears throat> Look, I've said it before. I don't like it. I don't like the standing around. I don't like the the whole sort of theatre around you know waiting for decisions. Um, but I, I know that I'm I'm in the wilderness of that. I'm, I'm kind of on my own. That. In my 26 years, I was always prepared to ref accept the referee's decision, good, bad or otherwise. And I've had some shockers in my career, let me tell you, and I've had some go my way as well. But I'd cop that because I just wanted a, the game to be played. But when we're complaining about decisions every week, this is what's going to happen. People are just going to forensically scrutinise everything to make sure that they're comfortable it's right. And even at the end of that, we're still not happy. So what does that mean? Well, that means that we're going to see a lot of standing around. And I, I just think it's just diminishing the authority of the referee.